If you watched my video from yesterday, he had a mouthful of babies and um, I changed him into here because I thought maybe this would help and Big City Beta recommended it saying that she heard that they might spit the babies out and not swallow them. They'd be more likely to do better if I separated them. So that's what I did. And then this morning I checked and he had a flat mouth. So I thought, oh my gosh, he swallowed all the babies, the change in the temp and the change in the atmosphere and the move just really messed with him and he's upset so he ate them all and then I just came in just now just to check on him I was gonna feed him and I was gonna leave him separate for a while because I wanted him to be able to adjust um, and get some food in him before the females come up and are like hey you want to breed again so I come in here and I just realized that he didn't eat them. They're in here with him. Look at them. They are so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm sorry. I'm just freaking out because I didn't think that there were any babies. And I'm finding babies. I've only seen one so far. And I hardly even saw it. Like, I didn't see it until just now. Whenever it moved. And I realized that he didn't actually eat them. See it? See it? That is my baby. I wonder how many there are and if there are any more. Look at him. He's so proud of himself. Oh my gosh, there's more. I just saw another one. But they're so small and they're just darting around. They're so active. So now I know for sure there's at least two in here. I have very high hopes that there's more. Thank you, Big City Betta, for telling me to like move him because... I don't think it's coincidence that he spat them out as soon as I changed tanks. I think that's been a thing. He's just stressed out that they'd die right away. He's the best dad ever. I think I'm going to separate him into another container, but I'm going to keep him up here separate from the others because I think that they're going to try to make him a father again. Those girls know he's he's real good. He's uh, He's one of the best fathers, apparently. So they might try to knock him up. So like I said, my Betta Rubra has given birth through his mouth and now I am getting a container for him. However, when I came down here to set up a little mini tank for him, I found out that the other male Betta fish is in fact pregnant as well. So, I'm going to deal with that another day because I'm a procrastinator. I'm going to let him stay in there for a few days. Actually, you know what? I will just replenish the dad on food. And then I'll switch the new pregnant dad out with that one and let him have his old tank while I put him back into the 30 gallon. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So first things first, this is the tank that I'm going to put it in. It's identical to the one upstairs. It's the top fin fish eye view, two gallon aquarium. And I just cleaned it up. It's a little bit dirty still. There was some dirt in it, but it came off for the most part and it's good enough for now. I'm scooping some of this water out so that it has tannins in it already and the pH is appropriate and all that fun stuff. I'm not going to put any plants in this tank. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few of these leaves that are at the bottom of this tank into here for him to hide in and um, they're already soaked with water so they're going to float down to the bottom no problem and there you have it we have the beginning of what is going to be our tank so this is the scary part that jar has a light on it and it has some plants it has Daphnia and some other organisms in there and they are thriving I haven't even had to feed them they're just living off of the algae and all that fun stuff but for some reason the spiders are smart they've, they've grown smarter and I'm afraid to kill them because they're too smart and I also don't like to kill spiders because they kill other bugs they have created webs because the bugs like the light so it's kind of like a double trap they go to the light because of the light and then the spiders trap them with their webs underneath the light case in point you might not be able to see them but they're like two in webs down here oh there's another one right there I have this little container. I'm going to just, oh, 
I'm going to just move this lid. They're all going to scatter and I know it because they did it the other day. Now I'm just going to dip this in and get some Daphnia. You can see them in there. This colony is actually doing pretty well. I've never been successful with them, but I just keep this light on 24-7. I just, that's a new thing I've tried and it's been doing great. I've never actually had a successful colony of Daphnia and this one's growing. We also have this uh, top fin tank that I filled for the male and I'm gonna bring a net to put him into the tank. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm going to try to catch the male without causing too much of a ruckus. I don't see him though, so that might be problem number one. Where did he, oh, he's in the, of course, he's in the very back. We don't got him. What? Oh, why did I put so many plants in this? It's like I don't think things through. Shoot. Come on, dude. Just, just go in the net. That's all you gotta do. Alright, we got him. Hallelujah. Alright, so we're gonna transfer him into here. Oh. So I poured some of the water in this tank into that tank. I'm really hoping none of the babies ended up in it. And then I'm just going to pour the Daphnia into this tank. I'm going to leave the light on this one and not the other tank. And I'm not going to plug that light in because the male doesn't really need light. They will get some natural light from the window over there. But he has no plants. So he's going to be f fine wherever he is. There he is. So we're going to work on his master awesome dad meal. Hopefully it won't be his kids. I made a mistake. I put one of my males in this tank because, well, there wasn't room for him in the other tanks due to a few relocations. And so I just put one male in the female tank. <laughs> and I thought, okay, worst case scenario, I have like two or three of them start laying eggs and then I'll take them out. Well, they started laying eggs way earlier than I expected and about three or four or five of them have started to lay eggs. And, I mean, you might not see it, but they are everywhere. Like, you see those right there? They even got into the filter box. Like, that one is currently laying eggs. That one over there is looking for a place to lay eggs. Oh, even right here are some eggs, I think. And I don't know if you know this, but picking eggs off of decor is the absolute worst. But um, I made a big mistake. I shouldn't have done this. I really am mad at myself. There's eggs everywhere in this tank. You probably can't see it, but there's just eggs everywhere. I'm going to start to take the eggs out of here, try to do some damage control, and start gathering them up. My Facebook selling page will be in the description below, so just get a hold of me there if you need to. I took the filter box off, and there was a ton of eggs in there. And, uh, I'm not kidding when I say that there were eggs on literally everything in this aquarium, or tank, whatever you call it. Um, so, the male is that one right there. He's my prettiest, um, albino. He's a golden albino. He's absolutely stunning. I'm not going to take him out quite yet, because honestly, I just, I'm just exhausted, and I'm not sure where to put him. But yeah, that's him over there. You can't see all of them, but it looks like so far, from what I can tell, these are the three females that were laying. So, I believe this is my melanoid albino. That's my melanoid GFP. And this is one of my um, wild types. So, I put them in here so that any remaining eggs will be laid on this. Um, air tubing. Oh my gosh, look at her gills. They're looking so good this week. I also did a water change. I filled it up so that it's a lot higher, if you can tell. It's a lot more full. It took me the last like two to three hours to remove all these eggs. And on top of that, there's some eggs in there. And I know that they're still laying. And I think that I missed a few eggs that are still inside of the tank. But I'm just gonna have to get those another day because it's just too exhausting to do. This is the male that just laid those eggs. Oh, he's my most beautiful albino that I have. So I'm gonna put him into the male tank. I'm gonna 
do first is I have some frozen daphnia that I have thawed out and I'm just gonna feed the frozen daphnia to all of the fish that are babies or smaller. So these are some of the, I can't remember if it's the Mahakiensis or if it's the Embellus, but they love this stuff. And then I'm going to feed some of it to the... You can see that I am so organized that I have all this junk on top of here. So these wild little bettas, and I think this is the ma... It's either the, it's one of the two, Mahakiensis, Embellus, something of that sort. I think I overdid the food. So now I have some frozen bloodworms that are thawed, and I'm going to feed it to some of the other fish. And yeah, I way overdid that on this tank. Dude, you want to wake up and go eat? I think he's asleep. This is the rubra. And I totally almost forgot about these gals down here. These are my three females in their 30 gallon sorority with just them. And a snail. They've recovered quite well since they were attacked by the killifish. Then there are the community killifish and green sword tank that also has some of my bettas in it. Alright, so this is the um, final um, setup for the baby rubra. Um, you can see the little Daphnias running around, and you can't really see the babies. I think that they're hiding. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I just keep getting paranoid because I keep losing them and I don't know where they go, but I'm sure that they're just sleeping hiding at the bottom somewhere in the leaves. And I hope that they can sustain themselves on the Daphnia. I also have some of those um, micro worms and banana worms and all those other things that I got from Big City Betta. So I'll also rely on those as I go, but the Daphnia are definitely a very easy alternative. So I don't have to do any work really. So where is my Betta fish? That's my question. So I put some bloodworms in this tank and my little dude is hiding underneath the leaves. So hopefully he'll come out whenever I leave him alone. He's probably stressed out and then he'll eat some food. I am so tired, so exhausted. If any of you want eggs, my contact info should be in the description down below. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Sorry, I'm so tired. I'm losing my train of thought. I don't even think I'm going to be able to edit this tonight. I'm going to have to edit this tomorrow or something because it's really late. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like this video, and I will see you guys next time.